So, PUC uh, plasmid is another important cloning vector. The valuable features of PBR322 have been enhanced by the construction of a series of plasmids termed as PUC. PUC because they are produced at University of California. These plasmids are based on PBR322 from which about 40 percent of the DNA has been deleted. So, this is uh, PUC uh, plasmid and you can see this is ampicillin resistance gene, this is uh, uh, origin of replication and this is multiple cloning site. So, it contains the restriction sites of a number of restriction enzymes. There is an antibiotic resistance gene for ampicillin and origin of replication for E. coli. In addition, the most popular restriction sites are concentrated into a region termed as the multiple cloning site. Moreover, the multiple cloning site is part of a gene LAX-Z in its own right and codes for a portion of a polypeptide called beta galactosidase. So, this lacks Z uh, 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 codes for beta galactosidase. When the PUC plasmid has been used to transform the host cell E. coli, the gene may be switched on by adding the inducer IPTG. Its presence causes the enzyme beta galactosidase to be produced. So, lax Z agar present hai aur aap usme IPTG dal rahe hai, to iska matlab hai beta galactosidase enzyme produce hoga. The functional enzyme is able to hydrolyze a colorless substance called X-Gol in a blue insoluble material. So, ye enzyme jo hai galactosidase wo X-Gol ko hydrolyze karke ek blue color ka insoluble material bana dega. However, if the gene is disrupted by the insertion of a foreign fragment of DNA, a non-functional enzyme results which is unable to carry out hydrolysis of X-Gol. So, this may aap dekh sakte hain, ye vector hai aapka aur is mein ye foreign DNA jo aap introduce karna cha rahe hain. Ye jo foreign DNA hai, ye jo hai lax Z ke andar bhi insert ho sakta hai, ye lax Z ke outside bhi insert ho sakta hai aur ye aisa bhi ho sakta hai, ye insert hi na ho. To agar ye lax Z ke andar insert ho gaya hai, jiska matlab hai ke lax Z enzyme jo hai, wo inactivate ho gaya hai aur agar ye inactivate ho gaya hai, to iska matlab hai ke ye X-Gol ko blue color mein transform nahi kar sakega aur ye colonies jo hai ye white color ki colonies appear hongi. Second case mein yaha aap dekh sakte hain ji ke ye jo DNA insert hai ye lax Z se bahir insert hua hai kahin pe aur uske baad jo hai chuke ye bahir insert hua hai yaha pe aur ye jo lax Z hai ye intact hai और ये X गॉल को ब्लू कलर में ट्रांसफॉर्म कर सकता है और ये ब्लू कलोनीज जो हैं ये आपको नजर आएंगी और तीसरे केस में इंसर्ट है ही नहीं अगर ये है ही नहीं तो लैक जी इंटेक्ट है और ये भी ब्लू कलोनी आएगी तो वाइट कॉलोनीज जो हैं वो ये इंडिकेट करेंगी कि जो डीएनए इंसर्ट है वो अपनी स्पेसिफिक जगह पे इंसर्ट हो गया है Thus, a recombinant PUC plasmid may be easily detected since it is white or colorless in the presence of X-Gol, whereas an intact non-recombinant PUC plasmid will be blue as its gene is fully functional and not disrupted. This elegant system termed blue white selection allows the initial identification of recombinants to be undertaken very quickly 
and has been included in a number of subsequent vector systems. The selection method and insertional inactivation of antibiotic resistance genes do not however provide any information on the character of the DNA inserts only the status of the vector. So, ये जो यहाँ पे लैक्सी जो काम कर रहा है बिल्कुल पहले केस में जो टेट्रासाइक्लिन रेजिस्टेंट जीन था वो बिल्कुल यही काम कर रहा है तो ये जो है ये टेट्रासाइक्लिन रेजिस्टेंट जीन और ये जो है जीन ये आपको शो करेंगे कि इंसर्ट जो है वो हो गया है या नहीं हुआ